What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're playing some more standard here. I'm not done with Phyrexian Obliterator just yet, even though our previous mono black deck went 4-1, which is pretty impressive. So <clears throat> the other option I wanted to try was a deck with four Tail Swipes and four Phyrexian Obliterators. Uh, we also had Prize Fight. No, what's a card called? We did have... Oh, it is Prize Fight. I won. I got it. I did it. Um, so yeah, so we had prize fight, and I I I took it out because I think four is is plenty, especially when Phyrexian Obliterator costs four. Um, so basically, we're just trying to play these big fat idiots that are really hard to deal with. So we have two Thrun, two Avabruck Caretaker, two Tyrannix Rex, Tyrannax Rex. Uh, two Silverback Elders. Uh, the other card we were considering there was Rootwire Amalgam, which I think is pretty sweet as a 5-5 five, five for 5 that you can sack to make it a 15-15. Uh, or, <coughs> excuse me, you can make a 2-2, two, two, or a 2-3 for 2, which is nice. As far as ramp goes, because a lot of these guys are kind of pricey, we have Gwena, Eyes of Gaia. Uh, this adding 2 black to create a creature is really, really helpful. But if you play this on 3... On turn four, you have six, and you can cast Thrun, Silverback, or Averbrook Caretaker. <clears throat> you can also cast Obliterator, because double black. And then all of these creatures, Obliterator, Silverback, Thrun, and Tyrannix, are going to give this a counter. And untap it as well, if that's relevant. Probably not. Who knows? Gliss is another super, super cool card that we're including. Uh, you can destroy an enchantment. Remove up to three counters from a permanent, which kills Planeswalkers pretty, pretty nicely. And she also has Death Touch, so if you tail swipe something, you are guaranteed to kill it. She might die in the process, but that's okay. It's okay. Uh, you can also draw a card and lose a life, which is probably one of my favorite modes. Uh, Solemn Simulacrum is also just a, a solid 4-3, but being able to play this and make your Galissa a 5-5 is pretty strong. You can also make your Obliterator 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> and, you know, any of these guys is just gravy. Uh, as far as ramp goes, we have... <clears throat> four armored scrap gorgers. So they can become four fours and they can add mana of any color, which is important because we have obliterators. So we don't want anything that just adds green. Same thing with Lana or Loam Speaker. Add mana of any color. It's a one three. So three toughness on both of these guys. And we have five of them just to make sure we kind of hit one early. We also have two Black Suns Twilight because getting getting back any of these four creatures or even obliterator or shielder actually is really good. We have one Terra Sunder because it's just kind of like your binding of the old gods type four mana. Remove exile any, any non lane permanent. Uh, two go for the throat just to round out this kind of removal suite. And uh, that's pretty much it. Sideboard we have three Duress, one go for the throat to, to go up to three, three Zenith Chroniclers, uh, one more Thrun just in case, two Cut Down. Two Shouldered's Edict in case they have more Planeswalkers. Two Terra Sunder. And one Titan of Industry. I'm not sure if this guy's actually needed here. I might just want a fourth Duress, to be honest. So I think we're going to add one more Duress. Changing on the fly. So what are these? 19, 19, 19. Let's make sure we get the right one. Uh, and additionally, I was also... <clears throat> I wonder if Fight Ring is any good. So Hideaway 5, it's 3 mana. At the beginning of combat, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. You can play the Exiled card without playing its mana cost. I wonder if that's good enough for this deck. I'm not sure, so I'm going to stick with what we have now. And uh, we'll see if this is any good, because this, this looks pretty sweet. I do want to put a more... Yeah, we'll just put Thrun in the front. There we go. Little things like that matter, man. Little 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 cosmetic personality uh, representation. So we're gonna play. Wait, okay. <laughs> uh, is it gonna let me choose my deck? <clears throat> because when I click on this, it's showing me this deck. I'm gonna. I'm going to assume I'm going to I'm going to assume when I click this it's going to let me choose my deck. 
Can someone tell me if that's correct? I really want to risk it if it's not. I don't know why my deck this. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it safe the safe way. We're gonna go to constructed traditional standard. There we go. Okay, so we know that like as long as you hit it, it's gonna make you choose your deck. Sure. Submit. Let's do it. Without Shakedown Heavy, rigging isn't that great. Oh, damn, I just thought of a big fatty. Shakedown Heavy. Yeah, Shakedown Heavy would have been a decent card to consider. It's a 5-5, five five, right? 6-4. So that was close. 6 four with Menace. Whenever it attacks, depending on playing right, you draw a card, untap it, and root. So it's basically just... A, they, they get a Maze of Ith if you, uh, if you don't attack with it. <laughs> and you draw a card. <coughs> Honestly, I wonder if Shakedown Heavy is better than Phyrexian Arena. Because, <laughs> like, you get a 6-4 out of it. And you don't take the damage and you get a blocker, so, I don't know, that seems pretty good. But, who knows. Questions for another time. I'll ask Rob, I'll see what Rob thinks. Waiting for one minute and eight seconds. I guess we can also share this on Twitter. Maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure I care enough, you know? Oh my god. Two minutes and six seconds. All right, we're playing against Shipbreaker Kraken, a classic. We will play first. We have... Eh, I'll keep it. Got a Proven Ground, which is nice. Any two-mana ramp creature would be great, because then we get a turn three Shieldred. What more can you ask for, you know? Oh, I see. Oh, a three mana one. All right. I'll 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 take it. You know what? I'm not picky. Also, if we get a fourth land, we can just go Everbrook Caretaker. That's kind of cool. Mill three cards, create a one one. Put a one one, put a one one counter on target creature you control. Okay. Mm, okay. And then it becomes a one one. I don't know if I care about that at all. But I guess it's got to be something, right? That guy's big. Okay, any five drop or any land. <clears throat> oh, I guess we can play Shieldred, right? That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Good time to have a scratchy throat. Apologies. Okay, that's good because it doesn't do anything to us. Also, we can play Shielder and keep up Tail Swipe to kill. Oh. Oh my god. I think we've just won the game. I'll discard a card. Uh, okay. I'll discard Black Sun.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> <coughs> I only wish it was bigger. That's what she said. Wow. Good gravies. That's not going to do it. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. So six. We can just play Avabrook. Put two counters on another creature. Yes, yeah, let's do that. That seems good. Could have also just played Shieldred, I guess, and attacked for eight. Doesn't matter, I guess. All I saw was Reckoner, Bankbuster, Cut Down, Gix's Command, Tyvar. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to bring in the other Go for the Throat. Twilight doesn't seem as good. Edict seems good if they're, if they're going in on Tyvar. Anything else that we want to... Mm, I think that's probably fine. Because we also have the Terra Sunder. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Our creatures seem pretty hard to deal with. Four of them can't be countered. Oh, what up, Jake? JP? Jake, does anyone ever call you JP? Because that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good... Uh, initial nickname. <clears throat> uh, here's two more lands. Keeps sure. We'll just lead with this guy. Okay, this is a lot of rampers. I So it's funny, even when I'm playing MTG Arena, I keep my finger over the six key. Just because I'm so used to Magic Online where I can like pass the turn. Uh, no one calls me FL, but that doesn't really have the... JP is actually... I've known people named JP before. 3-2... Like, I used to work at Starbucks with a guy called JP. Fair. Harsh, but fair. Oh, that was a good hit. So I feel like there's no reason to play this <clears throat> when it's possible to play this. So we need a 5 drop, a 6 drop for next turn. And we have 6 of them in the deck. I mean, I'll also take a 4 drop, which we have 6 of. So that would, that would bring our total up to 12. Because we could actually play like a Phyrexian Obliterator, untap this, then play like 
Loma Speaker or Armored Scrap Gorger. Totally fine, totally fine, totally fine. Uh, two, three, is just three, two? No, I'll just take three. That's not what we're looking for at all. That's sad. Um. <clears throat> so is it just like... I think it's just like this, this, and go for the throw at the token. And this lets us play this guy next turn. This is whenever it attacks, yeah, so we'll just make sure it doesn't attack. Haunted Ridge. Oh, that's a good one, though. Shit. I think I'd rather kill that. <laughs> That's fine, you can have a treasure. Uh, as long as there's three more oil counters, sure. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A million mana, basically. <coughs> so green, green. Guess we'll get rid of Shieldred. That guy's pretty big. Uh, this guy's untapped now. Do we need the mana? We might actually just want to cycle that guy. <clears throat> so this is going to flip. We can create a token of this guy. I think we're just on on that plan. <laughs> Is Proving Ground worth playing here? Probably. So we have what? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cycle this for three. It still lets us play a five drop. Yeah, I guess we'll just hold it. I mean, worst case scenario, they just make another Blood Tide Harvester. Or another Goblin Shaman, I guess. That seems fine. This guy has Ward 4, so the removal has to cost... They're going to make another treasure, so the removal has to cost 2 or less. So a go for the throat works. <coughs> you may activate abilities creatures as you have haste. Sure. So you can make 2 copies now. Today we carve our deeds into history. But it costs two still, right? Because it's like, you activate him for one, you untap him, you activate him for another. So now this guy's definitely surviving till next turn. <coughs> sure, blood token. You got it. Uh, we could kill this. But, honestly, I just don't like giving them a land, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's I just wasn't too worried about it, to be honest. Like, their board state was not super impressive. And they're not attacking here. So, okay. Ready for round two. What up, Plo Alexis? Uh, are we just going to... Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, well, we might as well cycle this guy. Okay, okay.
Do you have a legendary? Oh, that's pretty sweet. So they can actually triple block here. And then they take three, four. We could also just make this a three, 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 four, five, six, seven. And this has trample, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so they take eight, nine. I think that just wins us the game, right? No, because we'd have to waste one in order to make this a three. So three, four, five, six. Six plus eight. <clears throat> so it's 14. And they can block six of it, but they have nothing after that, I guess. And that seems good. And then I think we just activate this. I guess we can just tap it at the end of their turn. You can you stay home? Sure. Let's see what this does. I mean, they have to gonna they're gonna have to block with everything. Oh, triple blocking. I think that does that kill you? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they go to one. Wow. I mean, that seems good for us. <laughs> Should have activated this in response to get rid of it. <clears throat> uh, twice as number of blood tokens. Sure. Okay. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> They just killed themselves because they didn't have enough black mana? Is that what happened? They had to use a black from Sulphurous Springs and it killed them. That's hilarious. All right. 1 0. I'm really glad I opened this. Just so glad. One, two, three. Yeah, this seems good. We have Glissa and Simeon Simulacrum. Simulacrum. Simeon Lacrum. Would love a two drop, but you know what? What can you do? That's kind of like a two drop, I guess. You can activate it for two mana. Really? Venser seems terrible. Am I crazy? No, look at two drop. Fantastic. So, I think it's Glissa here. And then we can play Simulacrum <clears throat> and put two counters on the Glissa. Is that good? I don't know. We're probably just going to play Shoulder, to be honest. And then turn five, we have two, two plays. So, you know. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I'm interested.
So, <clears throat> I'm wondering if we just go 4-3 and then tail swipe to kill Venser. That seems good, right? Switch to creature control and this guy. And it gets a counter, so that's cool. I mean, talk about showing, I gotta show some respect, right? I gotta put some respect on his name. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it doesn't get a counter, it just gets plus one, plus one. Nah, that's worse, but I guess that's fine. It proliferates, but there's nothing to really proliferate onto right now. So I guess we'll just play this beautiful baby boy. That's a lady. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna no attack here. I don't really wanna just trade with a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, whenever you proliferate, if you don't control a creature named the Hollow One Sentinel, a legendary 3 3 Phyrexian, the Hollow Sentinel, sure. Target artifact creature against flying and lifelink. What in the earth? Okay, so if you proliferate, proliferate twice. Definitely gonna kill that. <coughs> Not even gonna be close. Oh yeah, this is what we wanted. One. Just how we drew it up. Oh yeah, you look at those look at those cards on the top. And then take 10. Is this a Grixis deck? Grixis, 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 Grixis. Looks Grixis y. Yeah, play that 2 1. Do it. Do it. <clears throat> Seems like an easy choice. Okay, okay. It's your girl. Slay in the sun. This deck seems sweet. Man, it's been a while since I've brewed decks. Feels pretty okay. Yeah, that's fine. You're dead. Sorry, you're just dead, right? Okay, <laughs> it's like, wait, but but you die? Okay, so what did we see? A bunch of just, like, dirtily shitbirds. 1, 3, 2, 1, and... So a lot of those guys died to cut down. Take out those. Bring in them cuts. Shouldered's Edict is pr probably okay, maybe? Um... Interesting. Like, what do we see? We saw this guy, this guy, and Tecuthal. So I like Go for the Throat because it kills Tecuthal, which a lot of other things won't, but Tailswipe does. Along with Rexian Obliterator. Big ol' Blitz. Is anybody there? Thrun does seem hard. We only have, we have two already. So I think two is probably good enough. I think this is probably good. We'll see. 
I mean, cut down kills Venser for one, whereas like Black Sun's Twilight kills him for four. Oh, this is a great hand if it had literally one more mana. We can go turn two armored, turn three this guy. As it stands. Oh, this is this is a keeper though. We can we can send a a silver daddy. Tap unless you control two or more other lands. I will. I will control them. What can I say? Three mana, no plays, huh? Okay. Well, allow me to be the first. Sure, you got it. I mean, we knew we knew it was gonna get countered, but. We're not going to not play something. Look at that fat guy. Okay, if this... If this sticks around until next turn, we get to Obliterator and Tail Swipe. Oh my god. It's happening. Come on, come on, come on. No blocks, no blocks, no blocks. Oh god, they're not gonna do anything. They're gonna keep like a counter spell up. Oh, that's so frustrating. Let me oh, is it gonna resolve? Oh my god, let me live my dream. Don't deny me my dream. <gasps> my dream is alive. And we have a tail swipe, so they might actually have something to kill this. So now they have to actually deal with this. Oh, they didn't. I was afraid of like go for the throat or something. But like they can't attack. Draw two. Sure. Oh, I guess they could have proliferated as well. I guess that doesn't matter though, right? Yeah, we're gonna untap. I feel like if you had a kill spell, you would have done it at the end of my turn and then attacked. I do not think you have it. Sack three lands? Come on. That's gold. Attack for nine, I guess. Kazowie, dude. What in the earth, man? Wow, they're really drawing a lot of cards, but not for cheap. Okay, so they're just dead. Fascinating. Okay. 2 0. What is it? Oh yeah, hungry for more. Give it to me. It's exactly what I wanted. For my money, I can't get enough of uh, random Anastrad Midnight Hunt commons, uncommons. Let's play first. 
Uh, we have ramp into Shieldred, snap keep. Oh, we get to go first too. Deal. Oh, that's sad. Big Shelly. Oh, me too. Oh, that's good. I never want to use my Takanuma if I don't have to, you know? We are playing very fast. Okay, so they're like mono green almost. Oh, are we playing this? Is this the mirror match? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is four. So we can actually... Oh, it's only five. Shoot. Oh, well, we still get to do this. Yeah, there's no, there's no way I'm letting that guy live. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana this turn. I'd r much rather you have five than seven. Okay, neither of those are super exciting. Get that counter going. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two counters on a creature, huh? Seems good. Oh, what's that guy do? Uh, so there's no cost to be paid two life, sure. Okay, so you get your big fat, your big fat silver daddy. Oh, that's interesting. has to put a one on counter each creature you control. That's pretty good. They only have two cards in hand, and they've used the hideaway, though, so that's good for us. And Black Sun's Twilight is also very good for us. Okay. Every land you play is good, because that's one less creature you got. That guy's good. That guy is very good. And you get a counter on all your guys. Okay. Well, there are things happening right now. How big is this right now? One, two, three. Oh, but we have Obliterator. So what do they even do against an Obliterator? Missing something? Trample, ward, haste. Is this. Is this for real? Doesn't have death touch, right? So they have to sacrifice seven permanents? What in the. That did not seem ideal. They have six lands, so if they lose all lands, I guess they can lose Fight Rigging and all their lands?
You got rid of this guy instead of like the loam speaker? Curious. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, put it kind of, oh, Jesus. I just want to flip that and wait a turn. Because doing it on our main phase doesn't do anything. No attacks. Okay. Yeah, now I feel like we're in really, really good shape. We're also at 28, so like... Uh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do it for six. Is that correct? Okay. <laughs> I was like going to play this guy and then Alpha. Oh god, all our curry. Oh my god, that would have been insane. Okay, so... Basically, cut down and go for the throat seem fantastic here. I don't actually think I care about Terra Sunder. It just seems like a worse go for the throat. Cut down. I don't really care about Thrun either. They just don't seem like they have enough removal. Dude, Everbark Caretaker has been great. I wonder if Shieldred's Edict is also worth adding. I think we have a lot of removal here, though. We have four Tail Swipe, two Cut Down, three Go for the Throat, two Black Suns Twilight. Yeah, that seems fine. Hmm. I want to keep it because we have two lands and a Gwenna. And if we hit a Gwenna on three, uh, I don't. I don't think it matters against fight rigging. I don't think we care too much about fight rigging. Yeah, this seems good. Gwenna on three into Obliterator and a Tail Swipe. So, you know. God, if we can untap and they play like a big fat creature. Oh no. It just gets plus one, plus one, right? So we're gonna no attack here. <laughs> and if they play something, uh, Tyrannix Rex was, we cast him once so far and it was pretty good. Oh yeah, this game might be over right now. I think they're gonna put that on Titania. Oh boy. Sack four permanents. <laughs> oh, obliterator, you son of a bitch. Oh, my god. My god. It's already 3 0. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, the classic five for one. I will trade a tail swipe for four permanents and your Titania. Good, sir.
who hasn't been there, you know? This has been a really fun constructed session, I'll be honest. Uh, we have one land here, so I think we're going to ship. Oh, God, are we on that? Your opponent? I go first. No, we can't keep this on the play. Oh, this hand seems fantastic, though. Three, three drops, two lands, keep six, put the caretaker back. Actually, I'll keep the caretaker because... It, no, I'm going to keep the... If we, if we get stuck on lands, I, I want to have things we can play. Okay, it's not not ideal, especially with a forest. That's actually reasonably fine for us. Okay, I think we're dead. <laughs> this card as a one drop is really insane. Actually, block everything. Maybe we're alive, you know, who knows. They're gonna ossificate. That's pretty good, okay. I have seen enough. So we are gonna bring in a bunch of removal for this. Uh, take out Terra Sunder. Take out these fat idiots. Go for the throat, cut down, cut down. Cut a Thrun, cut two, th Eh, cut a cut a thrun and a caretaker, bring in two edicts. Alright, and now we're just now we're just good to go. Right? What could go wrong? I mean if we hit a decent configuration of twos and three drops with lands, unlike this hand. This is better. I mean we have a two, a four, and a three. I'll probably get rid of tail swipe because I want to play this into this and then Gliss is just good against them so I mean I presume Gliss is good against them yeah. oh good turn three shouldered is super nice oh good no blocks What is this guy? Whenever it attacks, another creature gets plus one, plus one. Sure. Okay, this guy, and now we have Tail Swipe, too. So that's pretty cool. Is that gonna... Is that gonna give us some... Bang for a buck? Interesting. What was the point of that, I wonder? Are they gonna win the game? Oh, they're just activating that? It phases out. Are they they're tapped out, right? I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Seems good. God, Frexing Obliterate is a hell of a magic card, man. beating. Uh, two lands, two removal spells, and a ramp creature. This is great. Let's do it. 
sure. Um, hmm. We can play this and cut this guy down. I'm okay with that. And then we go Proving Ground into nothing, though. This is tricky. Like, I guess next turn we get to play something, but yeah, I think we want to lead with this because it makes all of our lands untapped next turn or, you know, turns two and three. Yeah, I'm kind of glad because I would have rather killed this guy. In. It's another creature? Oh, that's good. Papa likes. Yeah, we did that now because they have cards like slip out the back and uh, counter spells probably. I don't know, but... I'd rather not risk like them being like blink him out, give him a counter. So What removal did we see last game? They I know they got rid of our guy somehow. It wasn't with that. Or with that. Fascinating. So we can just go armored into and keep up go for the throat like this is just gonna what that's interesting Color me surprised. Let's see how they stack these. All two twos? Sure, block. I thought this could kill enchantment or artifacts. I definitely attacked under the 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 theory that they could uh, that, that that would work, but it did not. Wait, are they really considering not green? Green. Yeah, I'm just going to hold back here. Because I'm pretty sure we just utterly destroy them next game. We could also use this to kill one of their guys as well with the armored... Excel target creature and put controls. Sure. That's a bummer, but... That's a big guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take a point here and leave up another blocker. One, two, three, versus one, two, three. Actually, we just play Boseju, right? And then we play Gwena and this. So this can go one, two, three, and then, yeah, let's do that. I'm still on the no attacks plan because I just don't know what they have. Yeah, see, something like that would be frustrating. Because then we have one blocker and... Uh... Oh, actually, that's still pretty good.
we just play another Gwenna? Well, we're definitely attacking, that's for sure. And draw a card. Oh. Oh, that's fascinating. It doesn't get anything back, but it does kill this guy. Uh, destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Which one are we going to keep? Uh, this one. <laughs> Let's see if four mana is the, the amount they needed. It does not seem like it. Sure. Sure. So we have four attackers, we have two blockers. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. They're all just two twos? Which one is the unearthed one? The one that has haste. Yeah, this seems fine. Stuck? Are they conceding? I don't know what's going on. Is there any crashing, guys? Are we still alive? Guys, what's happening? can't tell what's going on, but I don't want to lose because of this, so. But, like, I don't see this guy in the graveyard, right? Like, it's not on top. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So everything is according to plan. Yeah, not seeing that in the graveyard. Um... It's definitely obnoxious because I was like, wait, I can't target it. Like, not knowing that you can target these. No, look, now their timer's up. Right? This is, this is, this is correct, right? It's them. Okay, good. Just making sure. pleasure down here salt is a way of life yes <laughs> oh boy we're having a good time Wonderful. 
I think after this, it's our turn, right? They're out of timeouts. Oh, they just lose. Sounds good. That was a rewarding turn. So 4-0. That seems good. I'm satisfied. Let's see if we can if we can close it out with a success. Uh, yes. Definitely snap keep this. If we can hit one four drop. That's kind of like a four drop. Oh no, you little son of a biscuit. No more distractions. <laughs> Off you go. Well, I'm glad I kept the one with a power. Hmm. <laughs> the salty song, but make it the lucky song, but make it salty. Salty, 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 salty. Wow, new Liliana. Is it just to kill Loam Speaker? I'm impressed. Sacrifices must be made. I'm going to play this because this has the chance to kill her if they don't play a blocker, and if they do, we can tear asunder it. Uh, Glissa seems really good against both of those cards. You won't be outsmarting me. I think it's Elder here. I think all the other cards are better. I don't think they have an answer to Glissa. Holy shit. <laughs> yep, that's that, I guess. Unfortunate. Slow roll dancer, huh? Uh, let's get rid of this. So you have no good cards. Oh boy, that's wonderful. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. Hmm. Wow. Mono black's the thing, I guess. <laughs> As evidenced. Drop it. Oh, I did pay two more mana than I needed. Oh, you're right. I feel so stupid. Yeah, for some reason I was like, alright, I got the four mana, I can kill either one of these with four mana. So let me pay the four mana and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. And then we only killed the other thing, so it's... Hmm, that's good. Double shield it is nice. Really proud of you, my man. I mean, this gets rid of their Liliana, I guess. Like, that's good. Yep. I have bigger needs. Knew this was. <laughs> yeah, that's. Haven't that's... you ever heard of personal space? Oh, for fuck's sake! This is. Me too, buddy. Me too.
six, seven. Yeah, that's gonna be the end. God, what a beating, man. They're just doing what we do. Uh, cut down seems bad. Twilight doesn't seem great. Duress seems fantastic here. Bringing all of those guys in. Shieldred's Edict seems really good as well. Take one tail swipe out. I mean, this is the Thrawn matchup, right? Take out Silverbacks. Bring another Edict. Uh, seems fine. Yeah, I mean, we brought in four duresses for, for Arena and Bankbuster. I mean, if, if those are threats, like, that's fine. Glissa also kills uh, Frexian Arena. Playing first. Uh, snap keeping this. Show me what you're working with. Oh, Arena and Liliana, huh? I think we're taking the Lily here. That's pretty good. And then this guy dies next turn. And then we get to play Jungle Hollow. They're just gonna kill this guy immediately. Do it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this prevents them from playing arena here, which is nice. And now we get to take the arena? Well, that's baller status. Oh god. Yeah, we're just taking arena. Like we'll deal with your 1v your 1v1 cards. I mean, ideally they sh they they shielded this because then we get the thrun. And then we don't have a I feel like they might not have a great answer for thrun. Big thrunny. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you do? Indestructible. But then we deal five to this guy. Uh, as long as your turn thrown is indestructible. We're going to no attacks here. The 
This actually feels like a surprisingly bad matchup for us. Man, is this what everyone else felt like when we were playing our mono black deck? Sure. This is interesting. So our guy would survive. One, two, three, four, five. We'd deal six to theirs though, so we'd have to sacrifice six permanents. Wait, why did our obliterator die? Why did our obliterator die? Hold on, what am I missing here? Oh, death touch. Thank you. That sounds good. Death touch feels correct. Uh, we are we definitely bringing this go for the throat. <laughs> yeah. Death touch. You guys are smart, man. How did you guys get so smart? I think the edict comes in too, man. If we're just playing this one for one game. Uh, I was thinking of of doing it during their upkeep. Um, it probably would have been better if I did, actually. I think I could have just won if we just went Obliterator, kill both of our boards, but I get to keep a Thrun because I don't think there's any way they're recovering from that. And I think that would have uh, been a fairly large mistake. If I ended up losing... I want to bring in the Terra Sunder in because it does kill creatures and we'll just take out one and one. So we're not just clogged up with a bunch of expensive shit in our hand. Oh my god, last game, man. Difference between 4-1 and 5-0. Oh. Uh, keep. This is nice because we have a pretty decent curve here. They kill this with either a shouldered or a... Oh, they didn't kill it. Are they going to Liliana? They are going to Liliana. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. You won't be outsmarting me. Discard a card. I won't be outsmarting you. I'm going to discard Simulacrum and then cast it next turn and kill your Liliana.
I don't know, that seemed pretty smart to me. Oh, that's my cue to leave. So I basically traded a Liliana and your Liliana for my simulacrum. That seems good, but I'm no expert. This guy seems good, but I'm no expert. Every time they use an Edict, I feel better because then cards like Avabra Caretaker just get to live. Oof. Alright, we'll pass here. I think they're stuck on mana, which is nice. Oh, they're not anymore. Okay. Is it Shieldred? Or is it Phyrexian Obliterator? Which of your beautiful baby boys is it going to be? Come on, mana. Oh, wow. Obliterator, Edict, and Invoke. Definitely Invoke. Not close. Sacrifice a non-token creature. Yeah, we're doing the 1v1 game here, boys. I mean, we're just going to play this because they have to do it on their turn. If they want to get rid of Thrun, that's fine. Then we play Caretaker. Presuming we hit a land, which also has Hexproof, so it's like, it's going to be hard to deal with. Sure. Yep, there's land. Well, that's not great. This seems good. Everything has hexproof. Yeah. That's what father likes. How does Glissa deal with Oblit? She doesn't have... Oh, uh, she doesn't have trample, so it's definitely not... It's not one damage. suspicious is going on and for once it's not my fault <sighs> sacrifices must be made counts. So if we tail swipe here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we lose everything. That's no good. Sure. Need a creature here. That's 
That's not bad. I mean, it's it, it gets rid of their Liliana. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, that's probably going to be the end. That's frustrating. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Removal spell. That's annoying. Well, that's the end, I guess. Unless we can top deck, like, really, really well here. It's not terrible, actually. But I'm sure they have a removal spell, and then they just kill us. Destined for the 4-1, guys. Or not. Fascinating. Oh my god, this is so... This is so tense. I am on borrowed time for sure. Oh boy. The problem is, like, if we attack here, we might be able to draw something. If we don't attack, we're just giving them so much time. But the problem is if we attack and hit nothing, then we die. So I'm going to say no attacks here. Give them another draw. I'm sure it'll be a Liliana. And it'll kill our Galissa. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so now we can attack. Draw the card. Oh wow, this puts us in really good position. So I feel like we want to tail swipe here. Because we die if we don't, that's why. Easy game, easy life. Who's your daddy? Oh my god, what's happening? This game is intense. This is a two-turn No, it's not. Dang it. I was like hoping it was a two-turn clock. I think they're just going to top deck and invoke and kill us. That's my that's my theory. That's my working theory. I think they've drawn a lot of lands. Those who get in my way tend to drop it. Yeah, she gotta go. A delay, nothing more. <sighs> okay, you got it.
Hmm, boy. Oh my god, this is it. Like, one turn away. Did you hit the invoke? Oh, I think you did. <laughs> so fucking lucky. Unfucking real, dude. Four one, still satisfactory. It's super frustrating. Literally, if we had one more turn, if we drew one fewer lands, we would win that game. That's frustrating. Uh, no, because at the time, like, maybe, actually, maybe. Worthless. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Really enjoyed this deck. I thought it was fun, even though we lost the last round. We did not get to cast Turanax Rex, I don't think. Maybe we did. I don't remember. Either way, had a good time with it. Hope you did too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.